Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to um, create items in the game, much along the lines as we created monsters in the last one. You'll be able to create an item, you'll be able to pick it up, and it will exist either on the floor of the room or in your inventory. Here's an example. So if I type in what is your name, and we can create items just as easily as we can monsters if you get the code set up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type create, and I have a single item in the um, database right now, Flaming Sword, and I'll type look, and you can see the Flaming Sword lies here, and I'll type get Flaming Sword. It says you pick up a Flaming Sword. If I type look, you can see it's no longer on the floor, and if I type look self, you can see that you are carrying Flaming Sword. Okay, um, so let's look at how we do that. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to create a new source folder like we did for NPCs except for items because all the items in the game will be stored here as well. So here's my default item class and I've created a, uh, an item called Flaming Sword now that is uh, very much the same. It's got accuracy and damage that I've created for it because it's a weapon. Um, and the constructor looks like this, ID equals Flaming Sword, which matches of course the, the class name, that's very important. Uh, it's got a name. It's got a description that you would see when it's on the floor. Uh, is wearable, I've set to true, and then I've got a where location of wield. We won't deal with the where location in this video. We'll talk about where location and equipping items in the next video. Right now it's just about creating them and picking them up. So you want to create a flaming sword that extends item. Looks like this. And inside of our items folder now we've got flaming sword and items, so we're just sort of keeping our, our classes organized somewhat so we can find what we need when we need it. Okay, here's the room class, and I've basically done one thing with the room class here. I created an array list of type item. I'm calling it item, and so we can have an array list of items now that are inside the room class. And inside the PC class, I also have an array list of type item that's inside the PC class and anything that's in here of course will be in the uh, user's inventory and anything that's inside the room of course will be lying on the floor. So you want to add those array list of type item to the room class and the PC class. Okay here's game objects and what I've done is I've created another uh, a static array list now and I'm calling this item database and this is going to contain a database of all the items in the game that we can reference and sort of loop through to figure out uh, what it is we're dealing with and it's a new array list okay and then I've got a method down here called initialize item array that basically has an entry for every item that I've created in this case there's just an item for item and then there's one for flaming sword which I have here so as, however many items I have of course we're gonna put in initialize item array and inside of our uh, simple RPG class, uh, it's important that we initialize this with game objects dot initialize item array so that uh, that item array is populated at the very beginning of the game. So we've got a nice database with all the NPCs and a nice database with all the items. Okay, so I've added two new methods here. One of them is create item. The other one is get. Let's look at create item. If x.length equals one, you're gonna say create what exactly because they've only typed the word create. What do you wanna create? If it's two, we're gonna loop through the entire item database. And we're gonna create a copy of each one as we go through. So item zero is gonna be local item. We're gonna check the ID of the item to see if it matches what the user typed in. So if I type create flaming sword, well that would match the item at index one. So the second time through this loop, it would catch this and match. Uh, then we're gonna loop through all the rooms, okay? And we're gonna see what room the player is standing in. So if game objects room dot get y dot number equals game objects dot pc dot in room, this right here is something I find I'm copying and pasting a lot because we need to know what room the PC is in and we need to do something with that room. So this little chunk of code right here is one that I've copied and pasted several times. It's uh, pretty helpful. Um, so we're going to go through all the rooms, okay, and uh, we're going to game objects.room.get.y, the room you're in, we're going to add an item, all right, and we're going to cast whatever it is, local item ID, uh, as a new class, okay? So if they type in flaming sword, all right, well, that's going to match what they typed. 
and then we're going to add this now to the rooms item array list pretty simple and then we print you create a all right and we get the room they're standing in all right we get the list of items within that room all right minus one the last item on the stack in the room and we print the name all right and so uh, we've created that item in the room so let's take a look at the look what we do inside a look so you want to be able to see that all right and so inside of look here we've got this um, if x dot length equals one they just want to look at what's in the room uh, we're printing exits we're printing all the NPCs and now we're looping through all the items in the room and we're simply printing those descriptions so as many items are in the room that the user is standing in all right we're gonna loop through those items and we're just gonna print the descriptions in this case when I type look I saw a flaming sword lies here okay um, let's look at the get command all right once again get what exactly if length equals two we're gonna loop through all the database all the items in the database uh, we're then going to loop through all the rooms in the game and we're gonna determine once again which room we're working with because the PC is in a room and if you're gonna get something you have to get it from the room that you're in all right um, and then we're gonna loop through all the items in that room and if the command or the second argument that they typed equals all right um, any item that's in the room for example if flaming sword is in the room we're gonna create a uh, local um, sort of a local item here that we're going to be able to work with all right and we're going to add it to the PC item list all right so we create a copy of that item that's in the room we add it to the PC item list we tell them you pick up an item we remove the item from the room room dot get y dot item dot remove Z we remove that item from the room array list so it's been pulled out of the room placed into the PC item array list so now it's there and it's kind of important we put this break statement here because once you remove an item from the array list it'll go up and it'll try to loop through and you'll get an array index out of bounds uh, error here if you don't break after you remove an item that's kind of important Just take a look at that okay and then once it's in your inventory all right here's our look command um, if I type look self at this point all right it'll say you are carrying and it will loop through all the items that are in the PC item array list and it will simply print their names all right now once again it becomes very easy if we get all that put in place to um, create new items so here it is I'll come down here and I'll create a new class and I'll call this uh, diamond ring all right here's diamond ring and it's going to extends item all right I'm gonna grab my flaming sword and copy all the good stuff into diamond ring okay going to give it the appropriate identifiers here it's not a diamond sword is it? it's a diamond ring Uh, name diamond ring description and once again I'll just change this make it simple a diamond ring lies here wearable true where location I'll go ahead and I'll just type finger here and we create all our where locations within the items themselves um, we'll be working with that where locations in the next video all right I'll go ahead and I'll click Save all right and then I have to add it to the um, 
inside of game objects now. I just need to add that diamond ring here so that it's added to our database. And that's it. I've now created a new item that can be created and picked up. Let's try it. So I'll click OK. What is your name? Josh, create diamond ring. You create a diamond ring. Look, a diamond ring lies here. Get diamond ring. You pick up a diamond ring. Look, it's no longer in the room. Look, self, you are carrying a diamond ring. Okay, so um, good luck uh, creating items and getting them into your inventory. In the next video, we'll look at uh, wearing and equipping items.